Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Southern Soul Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing requested reading for Gabby Petito. She has been missing since around the end of August. I do know when I did a few dry runs on the reading, I got 25 a lot coming out. So I do feel like um, she's kind of circling 25, the number for me. So I do think 25 was pretty much the last day um, that, to my knowledge, she had most communication where people knew it was her. So... I do know whenever I asked her about the text messages that came out towards the end, she did say they were not her that sent those last, at least the ones towards, I think it was the 30th is what she's saying. That was not her that day. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, the Gila Tarot Royale and the Tarot de la to kind of see what we get. And I'm going to lay down some waters just also to set the energy and protect the reading so we're going to use saint michael water for protection and then we're going to use saint jude as well okay then we do have some oracle cards at the top and a pendulum if i feel pulled to need to use those so we're going to ask for gabby Gabriella, Potito, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Source, and Archangels to please come in for this reading so we can get a better idea of what exactly happened to her, where she is, and what we need to know about the situation. So again, I want to ask for Gabby Potito to please come in so we can have more information about what happened. Can you please tell us what happened in the days leading up to your disappearance? Is there anything that we need to know that you can please tell us? Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is coming out. So this is uh, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I was getting a lot of Earth in the dry runs as well with the number 25. But um, on this one, this is going to be like kind of like an ind independent single card. So um, I was kind of feeling like um, as, as they were getting old, I know they called off the engagement because they said they were young and didn't want to get married. So, I mean, to me, that's kind of pulling that energy to that card. But it's also kind of showing me too, like he wasn't okay with her becoming independent and wanting to get her own pinnacle, such as the juice shop, the, I believe she was creating a YouTube channel, a couple of other things. So all these things she was trying to um, create and harvest for herself, he did not like. So what happened the day of your disappearance? Is there anything you can show us about the day of your disappearance, Gabby? Okay, so the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands comes out for the day of her disappearance. Now, I was getting a lot of Earth and Fire again in the dry run. So we'll see um, what energy. I, I do feel like he burned things to get rid of evidence of what happened. So, um, But it is saying that day there was arguing. You do see that in the police footage, too, as well. They show them arguing um, where she is going back and forth again about kind of whether she has anxiety. or. But then she's also saying she's very calm. Um, that it's mainly him that gets upset with her. So it just seems like it was very, it was put all on her, but a lot of it had to do with him as well. So is there anything that we need to know coming up about this? Like I said, I know now that he's supposed to be missing, but we'll see. So again, I kind of feel like he might do something to himself. I don't know, but you know, so that he doesn't have to answer as to what happened because again, he's the only person that knows at this point. So with the five of wands, it is showing there still is argumentation going on. Now, I do feel like this is between the families a bit. She is saying there's a lot of arguing going on because they did know each other. From my knowledge, I think they went to, they said they went to high school together. They had dated off and on or they had, they had dated for since high school and then they got engaged where they did, did call off the engagement because they both said they were very, or they had said they were young. So they wanted to go ahead and call that off, but they were going to take this road trip together, but tensions built. So, and they, and they talk about that in the police cam. So, why is the Nine of Pentacles here for the days leading up to your disappearance? So, it's an earthly independent energy. Is there anything you can tell us about that energy, Gabby? Why is that here for the days leading up to your disappearance, Gabby? 
Okay, so there was this Four of Swords energy in reverse. So the Four of Swords is going to be um, coming out of something. So it's usually in this way, it's like you're resting on information, knowledge, uh, maybe something you want to say, the way you want to do it. And I think that she was coming out of this um, energy of kind of being in a relationship and wanting to be independent. Um, and she was seeing that more and more with this trip. And I think she might have actually voiced that to him. I think she told him when they got back, they weren't going to be together anymore. <clears throat> and that's why it's coming out independent. So let's go ahead and see. And then that made him upset. He felt like he had to be defensive because the tower came out. So yeah, I think they had, she had broke up with him or they were, or when they got back, they were going to separate. So it caused the friction in the five of wands. So why is the five of wands here for what's going on? What do we need to know about the five of wands? Why is the five of wands here? Judgment in reverse. So it's going to happen against somebody's will. Um, the five of wands is in reverse. There's arguments. So rather she's saying, you know, it was an overkill of arguing. It was abusive in the way because um, fire is going to be physically and usually verbally abusive a lot of times. Um, they're physical, but they use their words too. So those are your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius signs when they're in reverse and they're in their negative energy. So, um, but with judgment in reverse, I do feel like something is going to happen where we can't, I don't feel like we're going to get all the information as what happened to Gabby. Um, because Brian's the only one that knows and he's missing. And I kind of get this energy that he might be so cowardice to where he takes that information with him. So we'll see what happens. But with the five of swords here again, she is showing again, there's two five of argumentation cards. So now you have the five of swords and the five of wands. So there was an overkill and a slicing of argumentations, information being exchanged, words, um, physical altercation. So it was, it was ver verbally and physically abusive at this point. So she was going to leave and that blew up the tower for him. He didn't want, not want that to happen. She could not leave. So why is the tower here? The seven of wands is here with the tower. Can you show us anything about that, please, Gabby? Yeah. So the six of pentacles, more earth energy, uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn was thrown out of balance. So, and this did happen in, in, you know, during the Virgo season. So I don't know if she's pulling towards that because she seems to be very pulled to that energy, but I do still feel like she is still outside in the earthly element. Um, I do think that is where he left her. So with the five of wands here, and I mean, you can kind of see a lot of that here. There's a lot of earth. So, um, why is the five of wands here with judgment in reverse? And what do we need to know about it? Is there anything you can show us please, Gabby? The magician. So it's manifesting it. So they use all their elements and stuff to find out what happened and what's going on. It's not in reverse. So I don't feel like it's super negative, um, but there is no victory in this situation. I do feel that he is very coward, I, I, very much a coward. So it's going to be interesting to see the terms they find him on is all I'm going to say. Um, I know a lot of people think he's hiding. Um, I think that was probably the original plan, but I don't know if that's how it's going to end. I did do also a dry run for him, not to bring into here too much, but he did have death in reverse. So um, a very much closing cycle cards. So I kind of wonder, you know, how they will find him and, and in what condition. So with the nine of pentacles here, what do we need to know about the nine of pentacles? So you are feeling independent. You are wanting to become single on your way back from the trip. What do we need to know about that energy? Did you tell him this? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So she told him she wanted to be single. And um, when they got back, that's a big movement. So whenever that happens, like I said, it's her to me going towards the single life and not wanting to be in this relationship with him anymore after this trip. So with the Four of Swords, she was going to come out of this uh, relationship with him. I don't know if they were together for four years, three or four years, but it is showing in reverse that that, that energy was being lifted in because it was too much argumentation. Too much, uh, like I said, it was mainly verbal abuse, but I think, like I said, again, towards the end of the trip, it became physical abuse. You have the Queen of Wands and, uh, Swords in reverse, so yeah, it's like she had to physically defend herself. Again, she kind of looks like her. She has the blonde hair and she's sitting there, but in reverse, she has to be a little bit harsh. And you do see in the video, she admits to hitting him, but I do think because he was, um, I think he, he picked at her a lot. I said, you, you do hear in the video where, again, where she's saying she has anxiety and OCD and then she's saying she's really chill. So it's kind of like she's going back and forth a little bit about that. So that's why I said, again, I feel like that stuff that he tells her, you know, so, um, is that, you know, she has anxiety and all this stuff and that, you know, he has to put up with it, but he's just being an asshole to be honest. 
um, with the Five of Swords here. Why is the Five of Swords here for the energy? Can you please show us why the Five of Swords is here? All right, so it is going to be for the King of Cups. So he actually did come out as the King of Cups in the dry run too. I don't know what his sign is, but again, it does not have to be his sign. It is just showing that um, he would try. I think this is him saying, you know, her saying he would be very physically abusive and then he would try to be sweet and then try to act like, you know, temperance was not out of balance, but it was. So that's what I'm kind of getting from that. She also has the three of wands. So I think that was closing in. So again, it's more fire energy and there's a few other fire and water in here. But I do think, you know, he had an overkill of it and then he would play sweet to everybody else around them. But when they weren't here, he'd bring in that unbalance and that untemperance energy. So with the seven of wands here, why is the seven of wands here? It is showing that that day y'all were arguing, uh, things were getting heated and probably a bit physical. Uh, yeah, judgments in reverse again. So it's almost like... <laughs> When judgment is in reverse, it's, it's again, it's kind of being pulled against your will a little bit to me in the sense that I don't, again, I don't think she wanted any of this to happen. It just, it was an energy that he pulls her in with a little bit. Like he kind of gets her spinning whenever she's upset instead of trying to calm her down. Um, so that's kind of like the energy I get from that. So it's almost like as much as she tried to get away from it, it would circle back around somehow. So with the tower here, there is an explosion here at the sense where I think this is how he was feeling at the last moment when you were saying that you kind of were over it. You didn't want to talk anymore. You were going to be single when you went back. Why is the tower here? Can you please show us why the tower and judgment is here with the seven of wands? Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. So again, more earth energy, but it is in reverse. So it's kind of like losing an earthly opportunity. So if she were to walk away from him, that would pull her out of his earthly realm. So if he felt like that was, you know, um, he, he kind of gets that energy where he feels like he owns her in a sense. That's what I'm saying. He's very comes off. I mean, I hate to use the word narcissist, but kind of narcissistic and controlling and possessive. So, um, but with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, as I'm saying, she told him that it was done. She was going to walk away and that blew up the tower. So he had to take care of it. And if he had to throw things out of balance in the earthly realm to do so, he was going to do it. Um, that's why the Six of Pentacles is in reverse because he had an, a choice to do something and not do something. He chose to do it and it threw it out of reverse. He was very greedy, um, very self-centered, just very full of himself. Um, not sure why, but let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. What does the Six of Pentacles have to do with the Ace of Pentacles in the tower? The Four of Wands. So there was no happy home. There was never going to be a, ha a happy home. With it upright, you have the Four. It creates that square stability foundation. When it's reversed, it's like um, breaking down the foundation. No more happy home, kind of wiping it out. So anything that she had planned for the future, he took from her. So she is saying that. Like, um, he did take everything from her that she was planning to do. He did not, again, he did not want her to move forward and, and do all these things on her own. It made him jealous. So let's go ahead and see why the Five of Wands is here. Why is the Five of Wands here for what we need to know? All right, so you have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. So the Ten of Wands is going to be uh, wanting to lay down this burden. Again, I feel like this is kind of a little bit of his energy. And with the Four of Cups, it still feels like his energy. It's almost like, um, like, woe is me. Like, poor me. You know, and it's like, no, you asshole. Like, you know, like, you know where she is. You won't tell anybody where she is. So, um, you know, you're kind of getting the backlash because you're not helping. And you're the only one that knows where she is. So, with the Five of Wands here... The Ten of Wands, also with the Four of Cups in reverse. Why is Judgment here? Because the Empress is in reverse. So this is going to be Taurus energy, also Earth energy. Um, she is very much in the Earth element, so she still is outside. I think...
I don't see like a whole lot of mountains area. I mean, I do see the dirt, it's taller grass, but she would be outside. So let's go ahead and see what the magician, why is the magician here with the Empress in reverse with judgment in reverse and what can you show us? Okay, so the Nine of Wands is going to be the Magician energy. So someone is going to bring in some uh, some action towards the situation. So we're going to be able to get some information, I think, pretty soon as far as what's going on with Brian and his relation as to where she is. Like this is going to manifest that and bring that energy in. But it's still not a victorious situation when that happens. Yeah, because the Five of Wands is here on the bottom also. So it's like there's no winners in this situation, period. But as far as information-wise, it's almost like you're not going to get the information that everybody wants and needs. You're going to get a little bit of something. I don't think you'll ever fully know everything. So let's go ahead and kind of use the Kipper deck and see what that will tell us. But again, it's just looking like in the spread to me, she did tell him she wanted to separate when they got back. That put him on the defense. It kind of blew up his world. He didn't like it. It threw him out of balance. So he threw her world out of balance is what she's saying. Um, again, he did not want her to move forward with anything to where it was going to uh, give her independence, and any kind of notice or anything like that outside of him because he is very much a look at me person and not her. So, um over here as well too it does show there is still the argumentation and friction going on and someone being envious of a situation where i do feel like that's a lot of him always feeling sorry for himself and wanting something else so with this i do feel like with judgment in reverse she is saying that she is you know not happy in her earthly energy anymore and again i do feel like he is not happy on on the earth right now as far as i mean of course, he wouldn't be with the situation going on. But yeah, like message of concern. So that's what I'm saying. Like there's a message of concern coming across. And it's getting more. It's like a timer, it feels like. So I feel like he's the timer a bit. Like he'll blow. So why is the message of concern here? Because of the house. So I do think she's, I feel like she's saying in the house, in his house, there's something in his house that will, uh, and I do think they took information out yesterday. So let's go ahead and see as far as, and that's getting close to the 20th, the day that she kind of, when they started having a lot of more problems was that week. I do know August 24th was like the last day. I think her mom said she had, oh no, she was, that was the last day she was seen on um, security footage anywhere on TV. That was the last day they physically saw her. So, message of concern and house. What do we need to know about these things? Marriage in reverse. So, we do know they called the marriage off. So, she is saying, no, that was no more. And then coffin is on the bottom. So, let's go ahead and see that with the dark mirrors, what we need to know with that energy. And then we'll use the shopper cards. But... Let's go ahead and see what is the dark. What do you want us to know about his energy and what energy he was carrying to do this? Blinded to pain. So he didn't care what kind of pain he put her in, like physically or emotionally. I don't feel like. Um, I think he was someone again who was very good at BSing in front of people and making it seem like he was a cool person, and then behind closed doors he was very harsh and very brutal. Um, like I said, just belittling, I feel like. Very belittling. Like, anything you do isn't good enough. Like, if, if she said she wanted to do the, that, the shop that she wanted to open, I feel like he probably laughed at her and was like, you're crazy. That's stupid. You know what I mean? But he's the stupid one. So, um, blinded to pain. Why is that here for his energy? Yeah, per hands to dream. So, it's like she was going to go off and he had 
this vision of what his life was going to be like with her and if he had to take it into his own hands and make it the way that he wanted it he was going to because that's what he imagined it to be um it does say that he is a parrot the parasite is on the bottom so um again that's going to be that narcissistic energy that comes out with parasites um that's usually how i see it so we're going to see a chakra card and this is going to be kind of just some something that she might want us to know separately um that we can look into and what chakras might be completely related to the situation. Um, again, it was will because I think he did a lot of things against her will, expression, assertiveness, self-control and direction. See, and they were in the desert at certain points. Uh, that was where they did a video at. I want to say is where Chris Watts and Nicole Kessinger did the video, the sand dunes. Um, I'm not sure of the exact name, but you can see that in the video. So they have some of these settings in their video, but it is also saying again, expression, assertiveness, self-control. So I don't think he had any of those things. So he made her feel like she didn't have any of those things. So he didn't take the blame on himself. So what else do you want us to know about the chakra? So that's going to be again, your throat chakra though with the blue. So it's almost like she couldn't she couldn't speak up against him because of the way he acted and the heart chakra was being affected again. So that would kind of correlate with the fact that they were no longer getting married. Um, things I do think she was going to separate from him whenever she got back here. And I think that's what made him snap. So he is now missing in the future present energy, but there is still friction that's going to be there. I do think someone will um, come forth and bring some information. People are doing that as of now. Um, her friends, everybody are doing that. So we'll kind of go ahead and see what comes out. So if y'all are interested in me doing a reading on where Brian is, we can go ahead and do that as well. Or, you know, where, what kind of view it is from his side. But again, um, he's very narcissistic in this read. A lot of this was him using mind games on her. And again, with the self-control, he has no self-control. He has, uh, he's very, and assertiveness is taken too far. Uh, direction he has no direction or, or uh, drive for himself so it's like he kind of follows what she does he mirrors what she does but then at the same time he tells her he don't like what she does so that's what I'm saying that's some narcissistic shit if I've ever seen it but um and manipulative but again I want to thank y'all for requesting the video so if y'all have any questions, comments, anything y'all would like to add, you can do that in the comment section below. If this is y'all's first time here and y'all enjoyed the reading, if y'all can hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, I greatly appreciate it. It will let you know whenever I upload readings like this in the future. And if y'all have this y'all been here before, thank y'all again for coming back. And I will be doing a live to kind of do an update and maybe do some random questions on it if y'all would like to be a part of that as well. But um, again, thank you for your request. And then again, if y'all want to see Brian's reading, y'all can go ahead and drop that in the comments below and then I'll look into that as well. But y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.